And so the beginning of everything is a tentative step, but for these footballers looking for adventure, fortune, fame, they started on the good note. Kumasi, the garden city, the capital of the Ashanti kingdom. Hundreds of youngsters praying that they will get their green card in football. But a total number of 75 young footballers tested negative. That's the good news ahead of the competition. Justify your inclusion. Coronavirus, the top of the agenda, making sure that social distancing cannot be a factor in the football game. But adhering to the protocols of COVID-19, very critical and at the top of the list for the MS Soccer Group in partnership with Books and Boots Academy. Successfully rolling out the tests on the players. And the test, of course, lasted over a period of two consecutive days to make sure that everything was according to plan. Conducted by the MS Soccer Group, special medical experts and hosted at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. The results, however, indicated 100% negative results from samples collected from the players to ensure a safe and sound campaign at the Chancellor's Hall of KNUSD. Head of MS Soccer Group Medical Team, Charles Amwako, assured parents and stakeholders of a safe stay under quality hygienic conditions. Not only were the tests conducted well, but intense and proper inspection exercise was carried out in all the rooms as well as the camping facility. Confidence that COVID-19 would not be a stumbling block ahead of the tournament. The scouting program was scheduled for Sunday and Monday, 7th September 2020 with strict adherence to COVID-19 protocols outlined by His Excellency President Nana Akufuado. And so, following a completely negative COVID-19 test result, all was clear for the MS Soccer Group in partnership with Books and Boots and other partners to kick off hosting the grassroots football scouting project in the Garden City. The events occurred over two days at the famous Pajo Stadium in Kumasi. It was the first of its kind since the pause of football action by COVID-19. So, the 75 players were confident after being taken through the intense medical screening as well as necessary COVID-19 protocols. Founder and president of MS Soccer Group, Mark Senna, expressed his confidence in the talents that had been assembled. Well, the whole vision started in 2018 when I got back to Ghana and I decided youth in Ghana are lacking a lot of things that we need to start with progress. So I brought up the whole idea, set up the group, and we went into so many things. And football has become one of our major tools that we started way back in 2018. We've got a couple of great talents out of our scouting events in 2019, which one of them currently has been just called to a national team camp, a national under 17 camp. So the whole vision for this group is to make sure that this youth out there here in Ghana will discover their talent, get the right support, get the right background, so that they'll be able to achieve their dreams to become professional. We have a lot of link in so many countries, but our major key is to get the young talent between the ages of 15 to 18 years to academy in Mexico and in Italy. The main reason we're doing that is most of the guys we see out here lack so many things like education, like proper food to grow up the way they are supposed to. So getting them from those ages are places that we can really grow them, make sure that they have the right education and the side of playing the football to have their school. And also when it comes to Europe, we have so many countries like Slovenia that will have a lot of clubs in the lower division that will be able to give them an opportunity to grow up. We have the same opportunity in Sweden. Just to mention a few. So the whole dream of this group, the link we have is so powerful. And we are also linked under a FIFA agent. So whatever we do for this boy is going through FIFA and we make sure that documentation, contract-wise, everything is done properly and this boy will come up to be a big star. And of course, for the general public, MS Soccer Group is in partnership with Book and Boots Academy. It's a foundation that we have headed by the President Yao Koko Antra. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to MS Soccer Group. I think it's a fantastic 
you know, uh, project. You know, uh, big thanks to the head coach and the other technical people. They've done a marvelous job. Um, a lot of talent, but if they're not groomed, they're not, you know, given direction, it's very difficult to get their full potential. So we need to acknowledge uh, the coach's role in this and also the technical team, uh, the entire scouting team. It's very, very important, especially in an age where players are being, I would use the word, word sold, but they're being uh, marketed for millions of dollars, euros and pounds. The foundation is very important and I think what is happening with my team today, uh, over the weekend rather, should tell us that it's very, very important. MS Super Group should be encouraged, uh, they should be supported in doing this and I think this is the way forward. Uh, Ashanti region has always been a bedrock for talent and I'm sure when they go to other regions, they will discover great, great talent as well. Books and Booth, very happy uh, to be part of this project uh, as a partner to make sure that the education is also brought to the floor. Thank you very much. Mark Senna, who was a former beach soccer goalkeeper and also played in Qatar, has had successful stints as a scout and is keen to expand his tentacles and spread his tentacles. The scouting tournament in Kumasi, well over and very successful. Next stop could be the Central Region, Cape Coast 2020. Further details on that will be made known in due course. So far, so good and a successful end to a successful weekend of football and scouting talent. My name is uh, Aris Ibn uh, I'm the uh, MS Football Academy. We are here in Kumasi for the scouting tournament. My name is the coach of the Adam Dish tournament. Playing gets a kick, very good talent in football. Great players of only ones, I'm not sure them, so respect them, both in African countries here and at most in Europe, and also give them a good education, and uh, put them up to speed, take them on training programs, and uh, the most important thing is at the end of the day, we want to see them flying for us, how they spend their family and the nation, the nation in general. I've seen a couple of very good players that are ready few ones that are ready for the market and more of them that we can you know uh, polish to so that expected uh, credit standard and uh, one good thing is that we have a MS soccer uh, team they have various type of uh, opportunities for them for those who are upcoming and those who are already there so it's a win-win situation for everybody so so far so good I've seen I think I've been able to see uh, to my satisfaction I've, I've seen uh, we would like to say a very big thank you to our sponsors, Gigi's Collections, we have Wealthy Shoes, we have uh, Marcel Fabric, and also we have RMP Oil, and also we have Active Detergent. They are the proud sponsors of this year's event, and we want to say a very big thank you to them.